you have nightmares about me. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Any Last Words. As always, I'm your host, Joe. If you're new here, welcome to the show. I know a lot of you aren't, but thank you. <laughs> uh, yesterday was Krampus Day. So we're going to talk about Krampus today. A little bit of an origin, some facts. The best that I can find on the interweb. So, yeah, we're going to do that. Hey, John, thanks for joining. Hey, Fabrizio, thanks, guys, for joining. I appreciate it. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't really have any horror news other than oh, I forgot who it was that told me when I did the uh, the review for what the fuck was that stupid movie? Oh, my God, why? Resident Evil, the new, oh my god, that's how dumb it was. I was, like, trying to totally erase it from my mind. When I did the review for the the new uh, Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City, somebody said that, and I'm sorry, I forget who, um, said that they were going to be doing a TV show or a series of it, and I was just like, ah, whatever. They are. They are so doing a series, and I wish they would just stop doing this shit. It's, it's, um, it's really getting ridiculous with these reboots, remakes, restarts, do-overs, reimaginings. Yeah, so hey Santa Adam Renfro, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Um, so yeah, I guess we're just gonna get into this. Other than if you guys caught the creepy kitchen episode on Friday, it was my headless gingerbread men or ginger dead men, whatever you want to call them. Um, and it was for Krampus Day, because yesterday was Krampus Day. Um, December 5th. Is Krampus Day and St. Nicholas Day is December 6th, but no one gives a shit about the fat man, so we're going to talk about Krampus. Uh, let's see real quick. No, 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 you're fine, Fabrizio. I understand. No, it's totally cool. I'm glad you passed all. That's awesome. That's really awesome. I struggle to pass classes because I have ADD or ADHD. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's get into this a little bit. Krampus is a Christmas demon, um, half goat, half man, and he's depicted of having cloven one cloven hoof, and he has one human foot, covered in fur, has a long tail, a long tongue that is forked, and horns. I think that was everything. Yeah. So he looks crazy as fuck. Um, he's said to be the polar opposite <laughs> of Santa Claus. Um, beating naughty children with birch branches and sticks and some accounts actually like stealing children, bad children, putting them in his, his version of a Santa sack and taking them to hell to eat them. I wonder what kind of indigestion you get from that. I don't know. I really don't know. Dahmer says people taste here horrible, but whatever. Hey, Richard, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining, bud. Um, but yeah, so... Krampus is a demon. He's a demon. So, and uh, Krampus comes from the German word Krampen, which translates into claws, and is thought to have been part of a pagan winter ritual. Which I, I didn't like get too far into that. Um, like I didn't find like a whole lot of what it was because if you try to, if you really just try to look up Krampus period or you put in Krampus origins, it brings up a lot of the movies. Like the, um, well, you know, from a few years, I think it's like 2018 or whatever. Um, it brings up a lot of those. So it kind of starts getting real um, shaky on finding information. Like you have to be very specific in what you're trying to look for with Krampus. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's see. Krampus is a hero. He gets rid of the kids people hate. You got that right, buddy. Right on the nose. Hey, Mark. Thanks for joining. Appreciate it a lot. I hope you're having a great evening. Um, yeah, and if you guys haven't already, go over um, and uh, check out Brainboro. Uh, that's Mark's show. Awesome, awesome, awesome podcast. He does lots of amazing and phenomenal interviews with uh, different people in horror and in film. And it's 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 a great show. It's a great show. I love it so much. Uh, let's see. Adam finally got to try the macaroni and cheese, bold and cheesy Cheetos. Oh, my gosh, you did. Uh, it was not the best. I I'll stick to Cheetos and ketchup. You know what? I concur, my friend. Like I, you introduced me to the Cheetos and ketchup, and that shit was hot Cheetos and ketchup. Just so everybody who doesn't know, 
hot Cheetos and ketchup. It it the the taste it's not what you think it would taste like, but it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, those those. Mm -mm. I think I still have a couple of boxes of that Cheeto mac and cheese in the cabinet. I probably need to throw them away at this point. And you're very much welcome, Mark. And thank you. I appreciate all the support that you give me in this show, which is it's more than I can express, really. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's get back to a little bit more of the facts real quick. Um, this next one is about Krampus. It's a because Krampus is like um it's like Central European, so it's like Austrian, German, um, I think it says Sylvania, um, parts of, not Russia, Slovakia, I want to say it was Slovakia, um, and like Nordic people, like they all, they all kind of celebrate Krampus, it all like originated, I think it said in like the 1600s is when it did. Um, but in Nor uh, Norris mythology, Krampus is said to be the son of the Norse god Hel, H-E-L, um, who rules the world of the dead, which kind of makes sense um, because if he snatches up children and he takes them to hell to eat them, then that kind of makes sense. So maybe they got something going there. I don't know. I don't know. Um Let's have Halloween all year round. Yes, I agree. I agree. I agree. Um, Fabrizio says in Mexico, there's uh, particularly no Krampus. There's only Santa Claus, the birth of Jesus, etc. I think the basics of Christmas, we are not going to more traditions. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. Actually, some more. I didn't put this in the facts facts, but other stuff that I was reading is that um, uh, I want to say it was like the Catholic Church in the 70s. It happened a couple of times throughout the 1900s. I want to say like in 52 or 53 this happened. Again in the 70s, the Catholic Church and like um, Christian churches were trying to ban Krampus because it he's he looks very much like the devil. So they were just like, this is, this is totally, totally, totally anti-church. We're not, you know, trying to promote Satan. We don't want people celebrating Satan. So they really tried to push and ban Krampus or any, like, crumb of him. Um, but in the past few decades, Krampus has become more and more popular in the United States. But it's always pretty much been like a traditional thing in, um, like, um, centralized Europe and stuff. So fun fact for you guys. More fun facts. Um, blah, 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 blah. What? what happens when he eats the children? He gets cramps, but it dumb. I love it. I love it. That's great. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, oh my gosh. I love the comments tonight, guys. Um, will there be a special Joe Miss episode this year? I don't know. I, I really don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I just, uh, realized today, I don't even know why sometimes things just pop in my head, but the third season of Any Last Words is actually, well, the anniversary is actually Thursday. So I'll probably jump on Thursday and maybe do like um an episode that wasn't planned for this week. Because I do have a Friday one. I wasn't able to do my Patreon video for last week because someone brought a dog home. And I've had to take care of it all weekend while someone was out of town. So it like, but there's going to be a, a, actually, I might just end up doing two Patreon videos this week and just push them both out. Because I don't want to, I don't want to chip anybody on Christmas. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, let's see. Fabrizio says Krampus is believed to have originated in Germany, and his name derives from the German word Krampen, which means claw. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Krampus rules. Yes, there's Krampus festivals. There's Krampus balls. People dress up as Krampus um, at a lot of these festivals and events, and they'll carry around chains because Krampus carries chains. He carries the birch sticks and um, uh, like bundles of them kind of um, and they'll you know they'll whip people as they go by during the so they say I don't know because if somebody was to hit me with a branch they're gonna get smacked in the teeth that's all I know because that shit is just rude I'm just gonna say that now um put my sh cooking show back on Facebook you enjoy them well I appreciate that I do have cooking shows but they're kind they're pre-recorded right now um and if you don't catch them on Facebook I don't know how long Facebook keeps stuff anymore I should still be on there um, but I try to post them at Friday night at seven o'clock just because there's more, um, 
there's stuff that I want to do, but it takes so much time. Like it's kind of hard to fit it in between a half an hour into an hour. Like I would like I made cookies that cookies, you got to chill the dough. You got to do all this other stuff. You got to roll them out. You got to bake them. You got to let them cool. You got to ice them. You got to let the icing. Set. It's, it's a long process and it's stuff that I really want to do, but I can't necessarily do it live because it just takes so long. So, but I will jump back on and do some live ones here soon. Um, there needs to be a Joe mess. <laughs> Jenny Wiggins. Hello. Thank you for joining darling. Um, so yeah. Um, let's see. The next one we have is Krampus has a weakness. Dun, 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 which I, I wanted, I just wanted to know. I just wanted to know because all demons have a weakness, don't they? More or less. Everything has a weakness of some sort. Um, and this one, it just kind of blew my mind. I was like, really? Okay, cool. Um, Krampus's weakness is fruit, apparently. So if he shows up because you've been bad, but you offer him a piece of fruit, apparently it brings out his good side. He'll sit there and he'll chat with you and um, he'll eat the fruit and um, talk, have a good old time with you. And when he's done, no harm, no foul. Everybody's good. To me, it kind of sounds like low blood sugar, possibly diabetes. I don't know. Um, but I thought that was just kind of weird. Like, it's like, don't kill me, have an apple. Like, what the fuck is that? I don't know. But apparently that's his weakness. So, hey, Gregory. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got this at the dollar store. I, just, I, like it. I mean, it wasn't a dollar, but I got it at the dollar store. You love that movie. You know, I've only seen the first one. I saw the first one in theaters when it first came out because my friend and I used to have a tradition to go see a scary movie in theaters at Christmas time rather than seeing, well, I mean, they were still, most of them were still Christmas movies. Like Twin Peaks wasn't a Christmas movie, but it was like snowy. So we saw uh, Crimson Peaks one year and then the next year we saw Krampus. Um, so that was the only time I've ever seen a Krampus movie. Apparently there's more, but uh, Adam says, I'm not ready for Christmas. It seems like it's just summer. Life is moving way fast anymore. It is. It absolutely is. It was just summer. My AC just went out. It got to be like 110 degrees in my house. Now it's like 72. And I'm freezing. <laughs> but yes, no, I agree. It's it's going by too fast. I'm not, I don't even have my tree out yet. I really don't. I gotta pull that thing out of the garage because I refuse to keep killing trees. That's just me. But um, yeah. So, if you offer Krampus a piece of fruit, he won't kill you. Like I said, sounds like diabetes. I don't know. And then, one last thing that I found super, super interesting, because I was like, if he's got a weakness, you've got to be able to kill the son of a bitch, right? Like, got to be able to kill him. This one's really weird. It's really weird, and I don't even know if it is from the traditional origin or folk folklore, whatever you'd like to call it. Or if it's something that was kind of made up later on, I have more of a, I have more of a feeling it was made up later on, but apparently, how to kill a Krampus, um, an evergreen steak. So you got to make a steak out of a piece of evergreen tree, and dip it in the blood from God's bad side. Now, when they say God's bad side, they don't mean like Satan's blood. I guess apparently God has like two different kinds of bloods or multiple types of blood. I don't know. But you got to get it from God and you've got to get it from his bad side. Maybe make him mad. I don't know. But you've got to dip this evergreen steak in his blood and then shank the shit out of Krampus. Thing is, though, is it doesn't like kill him forever. He will come back. And just like most everything else, like Peter Pan, if you think happy thoughts and you believe, he'll come back. So, yeah, doesn't quite stop him, stop him but apparently that's how you can temporarily kill a Krampus I don't know I, I mean I guess I don't know how do you get the blood how do you get the blood so let's see it's not the dollar store anymore it's the dollar 25 store did you hear it? yeah right well we have the I don't know where you're at but we have the dollar treaty which everything is a dollar and then we have the 99 cent store which is now the 99 cent and more store so you can get some things for like eight dollars you can get some things for like twenty dollars it's not the dollar store anymore, but they still, you know, they still got nice stuff. I think it, maybe I paid like three bucks for this. I don't know. It was cheaper than Walmart, whatever. I liked it. 
Uh, what about a fruit cake? Nobody likes them. Give them to Krampus. <laughs> That's true. You can take a you can take Granny's fruit cake, and you can pawn it off on Krampus. You be as bad as you like, and when Granny gives you that fruit cake, you can just say, Psh, "Like a problem solved." I'm gonna give this shit to Krampus. Problem solved. So <laughs> poor Granny, poor Granny. But yeah, so trying to think because those are the ones I've written down I'm trying to think of some other ones off the top of my head that I read um that's why I write notes because I forget things so easily um but yeah I just just very weird odd facts about the Krampus folklore um yeah there's some that say that he is kind of like I know I said earlier he's like the polar ha 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 opposite of Santa Claus but some things say that they're actually friends and that um, Krampus just takes care of all the bad kids and Santa takes care of all the good kids. So on the night of the 5th, did I write down what the name of Krampus night was? What was it called? Did I write it down or did I not? I don't think I did. It's called Krampus something. Kramp, Kramp, I don't know. I wrote it in my other notes. Um, but anyway, um, so basically on December 5th on Krampus night, um, all the kids will leave out like shoes or boots on their front porch. And if you've been bad, then um, one thing says that Krampus will put birch sticks in your shoe. There's other things that he puts coal in them. And then on the sixth, which is St. Nicholas night, um, Santa goes around and he like checks the shoes and the boots. And if you've got stuff in them, he's kind of like, fuck you, brat, and moves on to the next house. So <laughs> I guess that's, you know, like, they kind of work together at Christmas time. So, yeah. I mean, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who thought of that. Oh, yeah. There was another thing I read, too, where um, there used to be a year-round decoration for Krampus. People would hang up, uh, like, little bushels of birch uh, branches, um, like, on their doors or on their porches or something like that, as, like, a visual reminder for kids to stay the hell in line or Krampus may come and get you. So it was like the boogeyman. Like it was like they, they were basically terrorizing these children all year round. Like, like the Kukui is going to come get you if you don't act right. He's going to come snatch you up on Christmas. I, don't you want presents on Christmas? You want presents on Christmas, right? Well, you better fucking act right. Or this little like this demon's going to come snatch you up and he's going to eat you. He's going to take you to hell and eat you. So I don't want to tell you, but I act right. So uh, that's kind of messed up. <laughs> that's really messed up. Um, and I guess there used to be uh, postcards. Um, I don't quite remember what year it said this was, but there used to be uh, like post and postcards have been around like forever. Uh, there used to be postcards that went around that depicted uh, Krampus punishing women and children. And I was like, hmm. I'm not that kind of female, but I will say that's pretty fucked up. Just just bad women and children? What about bad men? Like, like I said, I'm not normally that female, but I will say in this instance, that's fucked up. So <laughs> that's just a little fucked up. That's all I'm going to say. Um, let's see. What are my tattoos of? Oh, I have billions of tattoos like all over me. I used to be a tattoo artist in a shop and then I just couldn't stop getting tattoos so um a lot of them are like Halloween related tattoos yes Krampus Krampus is the hero we need we you know what Krampus 2024 how about that let's start let's start that campaign somebody make a t-shirt that says Krampus 2024 where he's got like a suit and tie and is like his little forked tongue is hanging out I will buy that shit in a heartbeat I'm not even joking uh, let's see, Richard said, leave out Coke, whiskey, and asshole kids on the night of December 4th. There you go. <laughs> leave women alone and just go after the asshole kid thing. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Just go after the kids. Because the women are the one that goes to the store to buy the fucking fruit anyway. So, I mean, those kids aren't going to buy fruit. I don't know. Um, you get a tattoo, but you don't like needles. That's understandable. That's understandable. I don't like getting my blood drawn, but I like getting tattoos. So, I don't know why. It's just weird. So it's like, I don't know, but then you get it done. It's like, it's like wet fire. Hurry up. But, <laughs> but yeah, so that's, um, that's all I really think I have on Krampus. I mean, it's, um, 
it's a weird fo- I mean the Europeans have like a lot of really fun interesting folklore for like the Christmas season and we've kind of taken some of that um well I mean America's taken a lot of shit from a lot of different places and just kind of mushed it all together um and kind of made it our own in a in a way um but uh but yeah like uh there there's some other stuff too that they have in um uh, there's like Icelandic folklore for Christmas, like uh, the Yule cat, which will, I don't know what, what's up. I think somebody who just was just onto something over there, but uh, like the Yule cat would snatch up people that, um, and eat people that was caught not wearing new clothes. Um, and they had the Yule lads, which kind of remind me of uh, like the seven dwarves from Snow White, but there was 12 of them. And uh, they all did different things that was just very naughty. Like one would come if you had dirty dishes in your sink on Christmas. Well, their Christmas. If you had dirty dishes in your sink, it would like eat all the food off of the dishes. And um, if you left meat out for drying, like it would come and take the meat and eat it. And one would leave a potato in your shoe. And just a lot of just weird, random shit um, that they have over there. Um, there was another one called Gryla. She's the, the Yule witch basically. And she eats naughty children as well. Um, but yeah. And the Belschnickel, the Belschnickel is kind of, uh, similar to Krampus, but not as hardcore as Krampus. So he's like, he's like the diet Coke of Krampus basically. So yeah. Um, <laughs> he's like, you know, he's the, he's the, sh- the light, the sugar-free version of a uh, Krampus. But yeah, they've they've got all kinds of real interesting um, different, you know, holiday stories over there and and beliefs and traditions. And it's really cool. It's really, really cool because we just have Santa Claus. That's it. Santa Claus and elves and reindeer that fly. I don't know. I don't know if they have flying reindeer over there. I don't know. I've got to look into that, I suppose. But yeah, that is about it. You'll get a tattoo of me if I get a tattoo of you. <laughs> like the big old Steve-O ones, like blast your back. <laughs> and walk around, look at my tattoo. But I have to go to Frightmare. I do need to go to Frightmare. I need to get I need to uh I need to get some more hours at work and uh save up for Frightmare. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But all right, guys. That's it. That is that is Krampus Krampus Stein Schnickel vlogging. I don't know. I don't remember what the fucking word was for Krampus night. But anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video this week um, for Creepy Crip- blah, 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 blah. Creepy Kitchen. I'm going to be doing Wormsworth. Can't even do it right. Wormsworth Soup from The Night Before Christmas. And um, if you're a Patreon subscriber, I'm going to have some videos out this week doing some Christmas horror Christmas Christmas horror movie reviews. And uh, Monday night, I'll be back um, with another episode. Oh, yeah. And Thursday, I said I was going to jump on for a minute because it's my third season, Thoughtin'. So, yeah, I got to get on shit for that. Ugh. So, yeah, I got a new intro starting. I've started a new intro for the third season. We'll see what happens. But anyway, thank you guys so much for joining. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have nightmares about me. Mm-hmm.